Hello everybody. We have a calculus question today. Uh, we are given this limit, okay? <clears throat> this limit is equal to 1 by 4 and we need to find the non-negative integer a such that this limit is equal to 1 by 4. Okay, we need to find the value of the, the largest uh, non-negative integer a such that this limit is equal to 1 by 4. This question was asked in 2014 in the, uh, what you call that, uh, IIT JEE examinations in India, okay, 2014. <clears throat> and I found this question on YouTube, okay. I found this question on YouTube and it's worth discussing, so let's begin. All right. Uh, one thing you need to know that if limit x tends to a fx is given to be let's say l1 and limit x tends to a gx is said to be <coughs> is given to be l2 then what do we get is limit x tends to a fx raised to the power Z, gx is equal to l1 raised to the power l2 under the given condition okay under the given condition that this function fx is greater than zero in the entire domain all right this function is greater than zero why because to arrive at this result over here, we need to use logarithms. We need to use logarithms. And for ln x to be defined, x needs to be greater than 0. And in this case, we take the logarithm of this function. Okay? <clears throat> we take the logarithm of this function. So we'll get gx log of fx which will require fx to be greater than 0. Alright, so if you get the limit of this form fx is to gx and the limits as x tends to a fx and x tends to a gx <coughs> they exist and are given to be l1 and l2 then what we can say is the limit as x tends to a fx raised to the power of gx is L1 raised to power L2 provided that fx is positive okay so in these kind of questions you need to remember that whatever that is being that is being raised to some power okay the function which is being raised to a certain power that needs to be positive so we need to work under that assumption that's why what we can say is that this thing right here it's greater than zero okay it's greater than zero now let's forget about this one by four for a while okay one by four for a while and let's see x tends to one we can simplify this direct substitution won't work okay you get 0 by 0 raised to the power 0 by 0 which is which is at least I don't know what that is okay <clears throat> all right uh, yeah 1 minus x by 1 minus root over of x we may write it as 1 minus x 1 plus root over of x all over 1 minus root over of x Okay, <clears throat> and since x is not equal to 1, because x tends to 1, okay, these get cancelled out and we get 1 plus square root of x. So, this thing remains as it is, sine x minus 1 minus ax over x plus sine x minus 1 minus 1 and 
this will be equal to this. So 1 plus square root of x. <coughs> okay. Um, all right. Now if you want, you can use L hospital's rule to evaluate this limit as x tends to 1. But I'm not going to do that. Okay. You can use L hospital's rule if you want. Now let's see. This is gx, this is fx, uh, wait, let's make another simplification, limit x tends to 1, let's divide this numerator and this denominator by x minus 1, then what do I, what are we going to get, sine x minus 1 over x minus 1, and let's see, we have a common, and if we take minus common, then we have x minus 1, okay, x minus 1. So x minus 1 divided by x minus 1, that's 1. Again, x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1, so we have plus 1. And sine x minus 1 by x minus 1. As it is okay as it is and we have 1 plus <clears throat> now let's see if this limit exists or not okay this and this we also need to check whether or not the limit of this function as x tends to 1 exists or it does not exist okay we need to check that so let's check for this one this is quite simple so let's see, uh, limit x tends to 1, 1 plus square root of x, it's just direct substitution, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, limit x tends to 1, gx exists, okay, that's fine. Now let's see, limit x tends to 1, fx, whether or not this exists. First of all, limit x tends to 1, sine x minus 1 by x minus 1 if we put y equal to x minus 1 then this will be equal to limit y tends to 0 sine y by y which will be just 1 okay 1 so to check whether limit x tends to 0 as sorry limit of this function as x tends to 1 exists or not. Let's see, uh, limit x tends to 1 sine x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 1, no, minus a all over sine x minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 1. Let's evaluate the limits of the numerator and denominator separately. The limit of the numerator as x tends to 1 is equal to 1 minus a. And the denominator will give us 1 plus 1. So this is 1 minus a over Two. Okay, so this limit is sorry, no. this limit, limit x tends to 1, fx, this entire thing is fx, is equal to 1 minus a by 2, 1 minus a by 2, okay, raised to the power, limit x tends to 1, gx, is equal to 2. So, this is the limit, okay, this is the required limit, but we are working under the assumption that this function, fx, this function is greater than 0, right, so this is greater than 0 and this is greater than 0, so since fx is greater than 0, limit x tends to 1 
fx will also be greater than 0 and that's why this limit is greater than 0 okay 1 minus a by 2 is greater than 0 we need to take a note of this thing okay we need to take a note of that thing now we were given that this limit is equal to 1 by 4 okay so this limit was equal to 1 by 4 which means Uh, which means 1 minus a by 2 whole square is equal to 1 by 4, isn't it? Which will give us uh, 1 minus a whole square uh, over 4 is equal to 1 by 4. This cancel. These, this 4 cancels this 4. And what we get is 1 minus a whole square is equal to 1. And... 1 minus a my squared minus 1 is equal to 0. You can do it however you want it. Okay. So we get 1 minus a plus 1. 1 minus a uh, minus 1 is equal to 0. This means 2 minus a times this is minus a is equal to 0. So from this equation we get that either a is equal to 2 or a is equal to 0 okay a is equal to 2 or a is equal to 0 but 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 we know that 1 minus a by 2 needs to be greater than 0 isn't it so if we take a equal to 2 can a be equal to 2 no because 1 minus 2 over 2 greater than 0 will mean minus 1 by 2 is greater than 0. This is false. So we cannot take this value. Okay, we cannot take this value. So we are forced to take a is equal to 0 because 1 minus a by 2 needs to be greater than 0. Okay, so we had to find the largest non-negative integer value of a, which gives that limit, the given limit to be equal to 1 by 4, okay, and since a is equal to 0 is the only possible value, and since 0 is non-negative, 0 is non-negative, this is the required answer okay the largest or you can also say the smallest uh, non-negative integer value of a which gives the given limit to be equal to 1 by 4 is a equal to 0 okay and why did I share this question because all we do is if we see this form we check whether the this limit exists or not, this limit exists or not. Yes, then we do something like that. But you need to remember, you need to remember that this thing needs to be greater than zero. Okay? This thing needs to be greater than zero. Otherwise, you're you'll be in a lot of trouble. Okay? So just to remind you this fact, I discuss this question. Okay? Alright. Thank you very much and probably in a few days I'll be continuing whatever I was doing a few months ago that will be discussion of concurrency theorems. Okay? Alright, thank you very much.